was told. He told the disciples, Lazarus is sleeping. And one, one amateur said, if he's sleeping then, he will go ahead to See, let amateurs never push you to confess negative. I will show you from my book clear. Jesus said for explanation, Lazarus is dead, but we are going that he may rise. Jesus ought not to have said that. But an amateur, an, an unbelieving believer was among them. Keep pushing him to say facts. And according to celestial esoteric principle, whatever you say, God is only compared to back what it is his word. Can I show you from my book? Yes, sir. Today, go with me. To the book of Matthew, hey, uh, I want to show you something that will change your mind today. Go with me to the book of Matthew, chapter 18. Verse 18. Yes. Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Uh -huh. And whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Beautiful. I want us to read that Matthew chapter. Anybody with New English translation or New American Standard Bible. Matthew chapter 18. New English translation. Okay, let me read it from here. Are you there? Read it. New American standard. Uh -huh. Truly, I say to you, uh -huh. whatever you buy on earth shall have, shall have been bound in heaven. And what, yes! And whatever you lose on earth shall have been loosed in heaven. Yeah. I say to you, whatever you buy on earth shall have been all in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall have been lose. Stop there, my brother. Whatever you buy on earth shall have been bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall have been lose. Am I talking English here? Yes, sir. <laughs> Which means whatever you buy or will buy has already been bought in heaven. They were just waiting for you to confirm it on earth. Some people think they need to pray for God to confirm in heaven. God says no. I have already confirmed. The person I'm waiting for confirmation for manifestation is you. In heaven, it has already been loose that you are a multi millionaire. We were waiting for a confirmation from earth. In heaven, we have already counted five children from your womb. But on earth, we are waiting for your confirmation. In heaven, we have already given you a husband from Washington, D.C. The man is already there. But we are waiting for a confirmation. From I want to ask a question. According to this scripture, which section has authority now? Heaven or earth? Because an entire heaven 
is waiting for a combination of one person for execution. Which means angels are on their mass. And they have been doing this for more than five years. Waiting for combination for somebody to buy. The person is not binding. Angels are there waiting for confirmation for somebody to lose a family. Why they call action? Because that family has already been lost. Hey! Worshipping God in truth. God is waiting. Lazarus. Jesus said, My father, walk it. He that do, I walk. John 9. Are you getting me? He said, I see my father. I do what I see my father. Which means it is first done in heaven. You say heaven has not answered me. No. Ed has not responded. I want to give you ways of worship. Stop, Father, give me, oh, give me. Papa God, oh, give me. You are born in God, you are born in heaven. Enter into worship. I have a decree. My man is anointed. I already have it. No devil can shake my conviction. I fear no evil. I fear no devil. No devil can take my life. Because heaven has already done it. So Jesus was going. This amateur pushed Jesus to say Lazarus is dead. There's something about anointing. Are there preachers in the house? Who like anointing in the house? Can I teach you something? Each time you want to go to the pulpit, take your seats, please. Guard your atmosphere. That is why some ministers put very tough protocols. Don't know all, but many ministers. With heavy anointing, they put tough protocol. Because when you are going, whatever you are thinking is God's thoughts. You are thinking of the miraculous. You are thinking and declaring. You are speaking in tongues and get connected to heaven. Any man who says anything contrary disconnects you. That is why in 2 Kings chapter 2 and I was alone down when Elisha sent a light, when Elisha sent the house to go with the staff and lay on the dead child he said greet nobody salute nobody because there are some people on the course to your miracles on the course to your manifestation that can speak you out of that manifestation I'll show you from Bible. He said, Don't greet anybody. Why? Maintain the connection. Jesus was maintaining the connection. The first man, the disciple, had derailed the connection. If I was the one, I would try it from my brother. He kept going. This sickness is not to death. Lazarus sleeps. Lazarus sleeps. Lazarus sleeps. Lazarus sleeps. When he reached, Matter for God for that side of the album. Yeah! Jesus! If you were here, my brother would for die. They call you, they say you will be friend. How many days is this? How can you say? Jesus now was talking to maintain his spirit. He said, I say Lazarus sleepeth. I say he will rise. I am the resurrection and the life. He was building the anointing. Matter was killing the anointing. Suddenly, when he has struggled to build Matter, Matter said, I know you will rise on the last day. Jesus said, Child, atmosphere. Atmosphere. Why he was about to gain points, Mary come out. What is it? Mary! 
Well, I don't go down. If you do it, the Bible says, and Jesus grew in his spirit. When I reject at the Greek word of that word grow, it says there was a battle in his spirit. He got angry in his spirit because his utmost death was under battle. Some people are choking his face with unbelief. The Bible said Jesus groaned in his spirit and asked, Where have they led him? Direct me quick, quick to the place before you kill this young son. And they say, Let me that. For this. The Bible says, Jesus went. I thought he went because the fact that Lazarus died. I thought he went because he was identified with the family. No, he got so offended. I was dealing with an unction. Disciples that delayed me for that side. I have reached and struggled to maintain this unction. These people want to keep this boy under captivity. Jesus went. Father, they are about to kill this uncle. He went. I'll show you what Jesus said. Are we there? Yes, sir. Read verse 40. Jesus said, verse 40. Oh, so you are tired of hearing the words. Yeah. Jesus said unto her, Say I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, Okay, I'll show you. Go to verse 41. Then they took away the stone. They took away the stone. From the place. Yes. Where the dead was laid. Uh-huh. And Jesus lifted up his eyes. Uh-huh. And said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Wait. Stop. Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. When did Jesus pray? I some word of us here. When did Jesus pray that he's thanking God that God has heard him? When Jesus said, Lazarus is sleeping. God said, I have heard any sleeping man in tap to wake up. Father, I thank you that God has heard me. Because when I said some hours ago that Lazarus is still in heaven content. Yeah. Read on. And I knew uh-huh. that thou hearest me. Thou hearest me always. But because of the people, because of the people, we stand by by. Uh-huh. I said, I said that they may be no gradually. Because of the people. Because of the people. Uh-huh. We stand back. Mm-hmm. I said it. I said it. That they okay. I said it. What did he say? <laughs> Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And you hear me always when I said Lazarus is sleeping. But along the line, because of the people, if I did not come down to help their faith and say he's dead. They would think what happened to Pastor Park Lukao is what I am doing to. They would say they brought somebody who was not dead. So I had to tell my disciples they did not die. But that is not our confession. You know what I'm talking about Lukao in South Africa. They said he they arranged a guy body and brought to church for him to say wake up and he woke up. I said, try back and let me go. <laughs> Even in Jesus' this one, the person has so arrangement. So I have to open my mouth and say, He is dead. The moment Jesus said, Lazarus is dead, He changed the course in heaven. Yes, sir. On the grave, He could do nothing. The first thing He had to do was to apologize. For that negative prayer and confession. Before-
before he raises Lazarus, he has to first apologize. Father, I am sorry for making a negative confession that Lazarus is dead. If I kept my bed and refuse that Lazarus is sleeping, I will not make this confession. But I did it for these people. When he settled it in heaven, he said, Lazarus, come forth! Lazarus, jump. Are you hearing the language of God? Some of you need to confess your sins of negative confession. The Bible says, Peter refused Jesus. How many times? Three times. So you want one like, hey, Piero. Are you hearing me? Let me show you the Bible. Can I see you here? Oh, this crowd is tired of hearing me. Don't worry. I'll pray for you. But today I want to talk. I want to open your mind. I'm not going to make it some drama. I want to change your way of life. Jesus said, before now, he said, you are Peter. And upon this rock, I shall build my church. And the gate of hell shall not prevail against. I shall give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you buy on earth is bound in heaven. The first thing Peter buy was to buy Jesus not to go to the cross. The second thing Peter buy is I don't know Jesus three times. And Jesus has already, the mantle has already fallen on Peter. That is why God told Samuel, don't annoy Elia. Because when the mantle falls on somebody, that mantle remains. The mantle has fallen on Peter. Now Peter has spoken on earth what is contrary to heaven. When Jesus died, and rose from the dead. Remember on that table he told Peter, he said, the devil has prepared to second you. Like Fufu come. Sit by you, but I have prayed for you. When you are dead, you are restored. Help to restore others. When he rose from the grave, Peter, the Bible says, to Jerusalem and tell my disciples and uh, Peter, which means Peter's confession has already separated him. He was no more, according to heaven's oppression, one of the twelve. And Jesus said, I can't do this kind of job. When he was about to go, he met Peter by the side of the sea. Because any man's confession is working against him. Peter's confession that I don't know him pushed him to go back to fishing. Your confession is directing your life. Peter went back to fishing. Jesus met Peter. He said, Love it down me more than this. He said, Yes, I love you. Heaven take one. Love it down me. More than this, he said, Yes, I love you. He said, Give my sheep to me. Love it down me. More than this, Peter, Peter, boy. there was a but no, there was a curse following Peter to push Peter out. Why, on the third time that Jesus wants to correct this thing, Peter gets offended. The Bible says, Peter got angry. Because it was a force fighting him not to make the death confession. He said, Yes, I love you. How many times did he deny? Three times. How many times has he accepted the master? Three times. He was already settled in heaven. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Somebody celebrate Jesus.